As we mentioned before the break, the health news tonight is about treating high blood pressure, and it's controversial. There are new guidelines out tonight, the first of their kind in 30 years. They could mean fewer Americans will be taking meds to get their numbers down. That's if their doctors go along and follow these guidelines. I'll report on all of it from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyder. It's the most common chronic medical condition in the United States, leading to heart attack, stroke, and kidney failure. One in three Americans has high blood pressure. Right now, doctors prescribe medication if blood pressure exceeds 140 over 90. But the new guidelines out today give people over the age of 60 a little leeway, with no reason to treat until that number is 150 over 90. For anyone with complicating factors like diabetes and kidney disease, the old threshold of 140 over 90 stands. The study author says the new guidelines may reduce the burden on older Americans who already take a lot of pills for a variety of ailments. Patients may get side effects from different medicines. There may be drug-drug interactions. And the complexity of taking so many different drugs uh, really makes it difficult for, for many patients to adhere to the regimen that their doctors prescribe. Also, blood pressure medication has side effects. <coughs> the most common, dizziness, dry mouth, fainting, and falls. But leading cardiologists are raising concerns about these new recommendations. The American Heart Association has a simple message to patients. This is not the time to relax about this silent killer. Get your blood pressure checked, get it treated, get it treated enough. The target that the American Heart Association recommends is less than 140 over 90. If you're already on high blood pressure medications and you're tolerating them well, well, today's recommendations don't change anything for you. And if you're borderline hypertensive and you don't want to start medications yet, then make some simple lifestyle changes like limiting your salt, getting some exercise, and for heaven's sake, don't smoke. Sometimes, Brian, you can avoid the medication altogether, but if they're recommended, people are still better on them. A lot of changes lately and some old rules. Nancy yeah. Snyderman, thank you, as always. Okay, Brian. Another break. We're back in a moment with a mystery that had...